Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're doing a top weapons guide for each class in Battlefield 5 but also we're doing complete class breakdown so equipment, specialization trees and secondary weapons. This guide is primarily made for console users but these weapons are also good across the board. Although having played on both console and PC, there are weapons like the BAR and the FG42 that although are very good on PC, are fairly hard to use on console due to recoil and limited mag size. What I'm going to discuss ahead are just my preferences, so if you've heard different elsewhere, don't hate, but these guns have allowed me to be in the top 1-3% to of players depending on what stats you look at. Before we get into it though, if you do enjoy, please do subscribe. We do everything Battlefield on this channel. So if you're a Battlefield fan, this could be the place for you. So the first class then, Assault. And there's a lot of honourable mentions here, such as the STG-44 or the Storm Gewehr 1.5. But for me, the best gun in the Assault class is the Gewehr 1.5. This gun is a 31 round single shot assault rifle and far outstrips any other gun in its class type. If you look at all other single shot weapons within Battlefield 5 and Assault, they all seem to have 10 to 20 bullets in their magazine with the exception of the M1A carbine that with some specialisations can get the magazine size up to 30. The Gewehr 1.5 with 31 bullets in its magazine then and still being a 4 shot kill means it far surpasses many of its counterparts. In fact I I would go as far as saying that the Gewehr 1.5 probably has the highest killing potential within a single mag in the game, with the ability to take out 4 or 5 opponents before needing to reload. Maybe LMGs or MMGs with 100 or 200 round magazines could surpass it, but with the additional benefits such as a faster reload speed, movement speed and ADS speed that come with the Gewehr 1.5, it is second to none. The one major drawback of this gun is it is single shot, which some people may find harder to use. But with a high fire rate for a single shot weapon, it becomes quite user friendly after some practice. For specialisations on this gun, I recommend running straight down the right hand side to improve the gun's ADS speed, movement speeds, accuracy in aim fire and vertical recoil. Although having said that, the last specialisation I do sometimes switch up to a faster reload speed. This comes down to personal preference, but if you are finding the gun easy to manage, maybe use the faster reload speed instead. For the sights, I use a one times zoom level scope. When it comes to secondary weapons, I use the P38 pistol. I just find with this pistol it's very easy to land those final few shots on an opponent to get the kill. In terms of equipment, I use the anti-tank grenades, the bazooka because it's the most accurate projectile probably, and the lunge mine. Now with how weak projectiles are in Battlefield 5 just generally, the lunge mine can do a consistent 40 or 50 damage to most tanks, putting it far above many other explosives. Dynamite does a similar amount of damage, but it just takes twice as long to throw those dynamites onto the tank, and that's if you can even get those dynamites on before being shot. When it comes to the combat role, I run light infantry as finding ammo and the big one regaining more health are just by about all measures better than a vehicle painter or gaining more requisition. Moving on then to the medic class and there's tons of good weapons in the medic class. You've got the Type 2A that devastates at close range, the MP40 which is a good mid range subby and the ZK383. However for me the Suomi takes the top spot. Once the 50 round mags are unlocked this gun is a close range beast with excellent hip fire and plenty of bullets to mow down multiple enemies. Second only to the Type 2A probably in terms of its close quarters capabilities. However, what the Suomi has over the Type 2A is its strength at mid range. With some practice, you can really master the recall pattern and tap firing to easily start gunning opponents to mid to mid to long range with the Suomi. Whereas with the Type 2A, this is something quite hard to accomplish on console. In terms of specializations, 50 round mags is a must. So again, I go straight down the right hand side to gain 33% faster ADS speed, improved accuracy in aim fire, 50 round mags, and then finally I move left to reduce my upwards recoil. The downside of this weapon, and in many cases this is why I think it is underutilized, is it kind of sucks before you unlock those 50 round mags. As standard it comes with 20, which makes it hard to kill multiple enemies before needing to reload. However, if you can grind through to level 3, you won't regret it. This is the gun I've used the most during my time playing Battlefield 5 as I just love the medic class. 
For the sights on this gun, again, I use a one-time zoom level scope. In terms of secondary, again, it's the P38 pistol, and in fact, I run this pistol on all classes from here on out. When it comes to equipment, I just like the bandages, which just about by all measures are better than med crates, as they allow yourself and teammates you chuck these bandages to to heal on the move, unlike the crates. A must though is tons of smoke grenades on the medic class. Smoke grenades are just so strong in Battlefield 5, having a wide area of effect and very little visibility through them. They allow you to close the distance between you and your opponent with ease, which is ideal when using submachine guns as this is where they shine. So run both smoke grenades and the smoke grenade launcher, giving you access to four smoke grenades in the medic class. For the combat role, both are really good. I switch them up interchangeably, depending on whether I'm playing with a coordinated squad or not. If I'm in a squad with my friends, I'll run the field medic to help me sprint to my teammates faster to revive them. But if I'm on my own, I'll use the combat medic for that slightly faster sprint speed at critical health. Next up is support, and support was a difficult one for me, as the support class doesn't really fit into my aggressive playstyle. In addition, all the MMGs that require a bipod, I just don't like. I just don't think they're a good addition to the game. Some of the more popular guns here do include the Lewis gun, though, and the Bren gun. However, after some testing, the best gun for support on console is the Shao Chat. The Shao Chat, I think that's how you pronounce it, has a 20 round mag, so small, and also has a low rate of fire. However, per shot, the bullets hit like trucks. It's also pretty damn accurate, especially at mid ranges. Due to its large damage output and its accuracy, I kind of use it like a semi sniper, equipping it with a three times scope to take full advantage of these features. Although very good at mid ranges, you may begin to struggle at close ranges with this gun due to the low rate of fire, which means if you miss a few shots, which can be easily done, it can be a recipe for disaster as there's a relatively long waiting time until the second shot comes out which may result in your inevitable death so by no means is this a perfect gun and i wouldn't say it is nearly as strong as the gavea 1.5 or the suomi however for support it is a great choice many may be thinking surely the lewis gun is still the best yet having played with it on console i just find at mid ranges the lewis gun's recoil can be hard to manage from time to time the lewis gun is better at close quarters than the chow chat however if you are playing close quarters it's probably better to run just a medic on assault class type for support i wanted to find guns that excelled at mid ranges and the Shao Chat does that better than any other support gun. In terms of specializations, I started top right for quicker end down sight speed and then moved left and followed the path all the way down for improved accuracy in aim fire, 60% movement speed boost in aim fire and a faster reload speed, which is actually almost a must as the reload speed can be kind of slow with the Shao Chat. When it comes to equipment, I like to run the fire grenades and the ammo pouches for the same reason as the bandages. This allows you to refill ammo on the move. And again, I run lunge mines to give the class some anti-vehicle capabilities. For the combat role, machine gunner is better, reducing suppression received and also increasing suppression that you give out, which gives you the advantage in gunfights. So finally then, the recon class, and recon is probably the class I've played the least just because of my play style. The most popular typical sniper would probably have to go to the car 98k, yet if you're looking for an aggressive recon setup, allowing you to get close to opponents placing spawn beacons in prime locations for your team and your squad, the Model 8 rifle allows you to do this. The Model 8 comes with 5 bullets and is a semi-automatic auto-reloading rifle, so no bolt there, and it has a 2-shot kill potential at pretty much all ranges. This means with its high fire rate and that 2-shot kill potential, if you land your shots in close quarters or mid-ranges, you can often delete people before they even have a chance to react. The Model 8 converts the recon class into an aggressive class, meaning often if you die, you and your squad can jump straight back into the action with a strategically placed spawn beacon. The downside of this weapon is you really can only kill two people before needing to reload, which can be a major problem. However, as you can see from this footage, if you play smart by adapting your game style to your limited magazine capacity, you can make this gun perform wonders. It just becomes more paramount when you use the Model 8 to be aware of your closest point of cover so you can get behind it for a safe reload. When it comes to specializations, I go straight down the right hand side for increased aim down sight speed, 
reload speed, again, really helpful, improved accuracy and aim fire, and faster movement speed while aiming. For the sights, I use a two times scope zoom. In terms of equipment, I use the smoke grenades as they are just so effective at closing the distance, which is helpful with this type of class setup. And then I use the flare guns and spawn beacons. For the combat role, I use Pathfinder, which allows me to spawn on not only my squad spawn beacons, but all of my team's spawn beacons, allowing me to get straight back into the action with the Model 8. The sniper combat role is just not essential here, as there's no need to hold your breath with the Model 8. So that about concludes my class recommendation, guys. Some of them have a few curveballs in there, like the support class and the recon class choices. However, for my game style, which is fairly aggressive and playing on console, I found that these guns are the best guns to use on these classes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, though. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What guns do you use in Battlefield 5? Anyway, with that said, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please do subscribe. Have a great day and peace out.